Now what exactly is REPO? Now if you follow my previous webinar series before, you may notice that REPO is a sense of connection and sense of familiarity. Because I truly believe that familiarity breeds comfort, comfort breeds trust. And that's the reason why in this video today, I'm going to share with you about 7 strategies for rapport building. Let's go to point number 1. Point number 1 is called Mirror Match, where I share this extensively in my full NLP workshop. Now what I mean by Mirror Match? Mirror Match means you got to follow the way people sit, talk and also how fast they speak. Now I break it down into 3 points. Number 1, you should mirror match their body language their posture, sitting position, facial expression, and gesture position as well. Number two is to mirror match their tonality, their rate of speech, and their volume. And number three, their key words. And it's proven that in a social science experiment, if a waiter reiterate and to mirror match exactly what you have said, they repeat your order word by word instead of paraphrasing, they have a higher customer satisfaction. Let's go to point number two. Point number two is similarity. Now what is similarity? What are things that in common between you and the people that you speak to? One of the few things which I call the uncommon similarities. It could be your favorite football club that you support, hometown, favorite food, favorite vacation destination, brand of a car that both of you like. Number three, we talk about compliment. And it's proven that people who consistently give compliment is often seen as people who are positive and charismatic. Now, I'm not saying that you should be a flatterer, but I believe in the habit of seeing good in others. Have the habit of complimenting people. Number four, I talk about question. How do you engage people with question? And it's proven that if you consecutively ask three questions to the people that you speak to, and when you pause while, they will be obliged to ask you a question in return. Because when you have the habit of asking questions, you are being seen as more interested instead of being the interesting one. Point number five is physical attractiveness. Your grooming and how well you present yourself. How well do you groom yourself? Because I believe in dress to impress. Number six is cooperation. Now means what? So you and the people that you speak to, you got to cooperate towards a common vision, a common direction, and a common cause. Or it could also be you and your friend against inflation, against an enemy. And last but not least, I talk about point number seven, energy and positivity. Because if you radiate energy by putting up a smile, putting up a good posture when you speak, a firm handshake and the way you talk is more welcoming. You're often seen as somebody charismatic and you instantly create rapport with others that you speak to. Seven strategies to help you, even though you're in sales or not in sales, seven strategies effectively to help you create better rapport to the people that you speak to. And with that, have fun trying this. Signing off, Wesley Chan.